Yes, everyone, welcome back to Food Review Club. I am stood in New Haven, Connecticut, outside Louis Lunch, behind me right now. This is a place that we've watched, fantasized about for years now, coming to try this iconic product. Now, Louis Lunch is in the Library of Congress, officially, now, although there is a, uh, a few other stories are knocking around, but officially 1895, the first place ever in the United States to sell a hamburger. And the product we're about to have now is largely the same. Cooked in the same upright cast iron vertical broilers with a toasty machine. You'll get the gist. Let's go inside. This video is brought to you in association with HelloFresh. Now, for you first time customers, we have got a discount code you won't believe. Use code FOODREVIEWCLUB60, it's on the screen right now, and get 60% off your first order, 25% off the next two orders, and there might even be some free gifts in there on us. To show you just how beautiful this food is, my man is gonna cook up a storm. Let's go. First up, we're gonna trim those green beans, cutting them into thirds. Next up, we're gonna trim and peel the carrots. We're gonna use the peeler to make these gorgeous ribbons. Next up, we need to get the rice on into boiling water using quarter of a tablespoon of salt. Now, we need to pickle our carrots using the rice vinegar, sugar, and those roasted sesame seeds. A Little bit of salt and pepper goes in there as well. On to the main event. Now. We're gonna fry off the beef and the beans using a little bit of oil. Once it's nice and golden brown and you've got that caramelization, lower the heat and add the ginger, the garlic and the lemongrass puree. Next up, we stir in the teriyaki. And all that's left to do is serve up. So here we have it, the final product. Doesn't that look absolutely glorious? Oh my God, look at this. That is an absolute winner. If you want to get on board with HelloFresh, click the link around this video right now. Use the code FOODREVIEWCLUB60 and get 60% off your first order for new customers and you're going to get 25% off the next two. Remember, plus a few gifts from me and Callum. Thanks everyone, big up. Okay, so we're in it now. Um, the one thing the locals have said to me is do not under any circumstances, ask for ketchup. That's why. Read that sign. Look. Okay. Oh man, come on, look at this. What an iconic place. Look at this toaster, look. Yeah, the toaster's from 1929. Is it wow. actually? Yeah. That's, this is the original. Mm -hmm. It's gas and electric. The stoves are original. They're from 1898. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Wow. New Haven had gas before it had electricity, so that's how we could cook way back when. Incredible. All right, so let's order one. All right, well, your options are cheese, tomato, and onion, if you like. Yes, please, all of, all of the above. You got exact, it. Exactly how it comes, my friend. You got it. We also have potato chips, house-made okay. potato salad, and soft drinks on that board to your left, if you, what like. would you What would you recommend? The, the house-made potato salad, is that a good thing Absolutely. to have? Absolutely. Yeah? And a birch beer. And What's this pie in here we've got as well? We got apple, blueberry, or strawberry rhubarb pie, if you like. Blueberry, let's do that. All right. Thank you very much. You're very What's well. with all these uh, sort of scribes in the wood? What's uh, this all about? I don't know how long, it started a very long time ago. I'm not quite sure how long, but there's a, actually a counter under here that even my dad has never seen. Really? So, it goes back probably the early 1900s. Wow. So the story is that this is the first hamburger ever in America. We made the first hamburger sandwich in the United States and yours today will be cooked in the very same stove as the first one was made in. Incredible. The date is actually passed in the side of each one of those, 1898, so really? even if I wanted to lie to you, I couldn't. You can tell, look at them there, you know. Yep. What, uh, incredible. And what, does it, do these, um, there you go. Do these give it a different flavor? They certainly do. Well, in what respect? Well, you've got something that's been cooking in there for over 125 years, so you get all the flavors of what you had, which is, of course, beef and all that in there. And you, it you that, also... we cut our, 
cut and grind our own meat fresh every day, so. And it's grilled with an onion on top, right? Yes. Yep. Well, that will put some nice flavour onto into the meat. Most definitely. Most definitely. I'm going to be honest with you. I can't believe I'm standing here. We've we've travelled a long way to do this. Where are you from? Near, just uh, north of London, near Cambridge. Oh, okay. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So, you um, you haven't got any sports teams here, but you've got some you've got some world beating food. Yes. In New yes. Haven. So this is why we're doing our little food tour and we've been to some of the pizza places as well. Both of which spoke very highly of this place. And then you've been to Sowies and Pappies? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very good choices. They, um, they spoke very kindly of uh, your business. Well, they're great places. They have great pizza and they're great people. Great people. Very, very We great. were with Ray uh, and he gave us a full tour of the, the, the ovens and, and whatnot. He was yeah. a nice man. Yep. And, um, you should try the Fox and Park soda. We, we, we had one earlier. No, I did you? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, we had the, the, the uh, birch. Birch. Yeah, uh, the birch. white birch. Yeah, yeah that's tasted the one. like uh, toothpaste. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's something you either love or you hate. There's no, no in between. It, it, it smelt worse than it tasted. Yeah. It tasted quite refreshing and sweet, but it yeah. smelt like toothpaste. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they've been in business, I would say, close to 100 years, if not a little more. You guys around here definitely work, like working together, and I really like that. Yeah. I think yeah. a lot of other places should should follow suit with that. Yeah, we're all in the same boat, right? We all certainly are. Should we do some? Uh, should we do payment? Uh, we, we can do it after. Yeah, okay, cool. Sit and relax and enjoy. Right, this yeah. is one of the most bizarre places I've ever been. What do you think, Gunnar? It's, 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 it's crazy. crazy like, it's, it's tiny. It's got a back bit. What do you? A little little dungeon. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. 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 Look at the seats as well, people. Yeah, a some places have got deep fat fryers, huge grills, chicken, henny pennies, all this other fancy jazz. They've got three 125 year old. My, my number's way out at the moment. Three very old. Over 100. Original over 100. Cast iron vertical grills, 100 year old toaster, the same product. We're literally eating out of the history books right now. Literally. Yeah, I, I'm excited. The first ever handover. Yeah, blueberry pilot. Oh, just come on. Come on! Like and follow for more and subscribe if you haven't already. This trip is just getting started. We really are celebrating the American dream right now. There you are, sir. Wow, here we go. Thank you. You're very welcome. Ladies and gents, what is it? What's your name? Has it got a name? It just. It's called the Cheese Works. The Cheese Works. Yeah, I like that. Cheeseburger with onion and tomato. Let's let's do the master reveal, Callum. How much is the work? Sorry. They're eight dollars. Are they all they all cooked nice and rare? Or is that is that the way you like it? That's the way we like to do it. Yes, sir. There we go. Look at that onion in there. Let's go. I'm so excited for this. There's the onion, look at that, look. come on. Here we go. Are you ready? Wow, that's good. Simple but good. Fantastic. Wow! Big, that cheese is really, it really picks it up. Thank you. The tomato, a lot of people not a fan of tomato in a burger or a sandwich. I'm a huge tomato fan. It brings a lot, a lot of juiciness, a lot of flavor. And the beef, the onion is a wonder, wonder addition to that. And that toasted bread is so sweet as well. Very similar to a brioche. Ooh, Super sweet. It's melting your mouth good. What an amazing place. Give this video a big thumbs up and get in the comments. And let me know what you're thinking about this. I know what people are going to say. Too rare? Say so you like it? Eating it right now tastes great. Tastes great. Coming to these places, you quickly get a grasp of why they're so popular. I mean, look at that. 
No fuss. No mess. It's a serious burger. Mm -hmm. Big, juicy, full of flavour. Um, yeah. I really like it. I really like it. Slightly on the rare side, but I probably wouldn't choose to have it like that, but what I've just been given now and I've eaten, really nice. Very, very nice. Wow. Homemade potato salad as well. Mm -hmm. Potato salad, fan gallon. Oh, I love potato salad. Look at this. I've seen this in the pictures. So dense. Buttery, creamy. I feel like a good potato salad in the summer. Oh, it's the one. Oh, yeah. Amy's uh, mum used to make one with boiled eggs and spring onions in. Oh, it used to be the best. Really? So good. Here you go, people. Drop in your best potato salad recipe in the comments right now. If you've got one. If you don't have one, other people are going to put one in the comments. That is what Food and Club, the FRC family is all about. Love that. Good to all of that. Last but not least, we've got the pie. I love how, just, I love how simple it is. So good. Two man operation, few tables scattered around. History, character. Here we go. It's the blueberry. Can I, can I pick it up? I don't know. It looks a bit frail. No. Stuffed pool of stuff though. We're not skimping on the. I'll find this right. Wow. Tell you what, if you're ever in this, uh, Clark, have you been here before? I've been here multiple times. Why do you love it in here so much? Convenient. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it's the best burger I can, well, I can imagine. Probably I've, I, I've never a fan of fast foods. Yeah. But this is not the fast food, but fast. It's such a simple product as well. Yeah. But it's when you practice doing a, a thing for such a long time and hundred master it. Right? <laughs> that's a really, that's a really. Do you know what? That's a really nice point. You've got a point. What's your name, sorry? I'm I'm Tim. Nice to meet you, Tim. Yeah. Welcome to Food Review Club. <laughs> He's got, Tim has got a, a really really good point there. There's something to be said for just mastering something to the nth degree, and you might look at that and underestimate that product. But one thing's for sure, you can never underestimate the flavour. It's also the creator of said product, the OG. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Callum, that's su honestly, that's such a good point. There's no McDonald's or anything like that without that. Callum, thank you for that. Um, whilst we've been thinking and talking, I'll just scram the whole of the pie. Oh. Well, you burger shops. Oh, yeah. You can never stand on the shoulders of giants and call yourself tall. This is where it all started. What a product. What Cal a place. <laughs> Let's go outside the conclusion. Wow, I feel like I've just been baptised. Um, I feel like I've been taken to church, baptised, and at the altar, I've been walked up the staircase to heaven to meet the creator himself. That was unassumingly brilliant. Just chatting to him then, and they said, thank, they actually, the, 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 the cook said, thank you for identifying about it being rare, so there's five cuts of beef in there and that's exactly how we've done it to maintain the best flavour. I know you look with your eyes but you taste with your tongue and your heart and that, um, that was electric. The spreaded, spreadable cheese on the toast, on the sweet bread that's toasted, came alive. The tomato, the onion, the flavour it picked off of those 
hundred million year old prehistoric grills, <laughs> cast iron grills. You know, that's the sort of stuff that was knocking around when the Vikings were kicking down doors in, um, in England. <laughs> Can we just say also, they only serve it like that. You can't get it. Well done, you can't get it however you want. That is how it comes. I was really tempted to ask for ketchup, but just to, just to see what would happen. But uh, we don't want to disrespect anyone like that. I really like places that stick to their guns, have a product, and are unashamedly, unashamed of uh, the lack of options. They don't give a fuck. And I think so many places could learn a lot from these humble, 100-year-old, Billy Basic Gaff's doing an amazing job. Can we actually see it? There is a plaque right there that says historic place right there. It's been there that long. It's got a, what would you call that in England? National Trust, like. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, like a, yeah, 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 yeah. It's been recognized. It's Congress. a great, a listed, a listed building. That's the there you one. go, Callum. Um, time for a score. I, I think it's just brilliant. It's just brilliant on every every possible level. Okay. Um, the price we never even got to the price. They, they, he said, he's, when he, we said uh, Alpha would come, to, he, he just let us have it, uh, which was very very kind of him. So I put we put twenty dollars in the in the tip jar, but Callum, you said there's about six six bucks. So eight, eight bucks for the burger, so six six go. pound. And I don't so know with the much... apple pie and the thing, we're probably around that mark. So we're all good. Our uh, our tab is our tab is square. But from a price point, yeah, it's not bad, is it? No. If you've enjoyed this content, by the way, please like, follow, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, we're in this, we're in this game for the for the long haul, and I think you guys can see that. Our intent is clear to see. Like this is this is what we get out of bed for in the mornings, and um, it's a real honour to show this to you guys. But this is where it matters now. The score. Oh. So. On our page, on this channel, the nine category, nine to 10, is where I slide people into the elite. So eight to nine, very, very good. Seven to eight is decent, but has room for improvement. This for me, how can I not put this up into the nines, Callum? I'm gonna go a conservative 9.2. Um, I'm gonna push it into the nines, but that is a 9.2 with flying colors, with Merit with distinction, um, just spectacular, and a real honour for me to stand here, even being ballsy enough to give these guys a review. I mean, who, who are we really, um, other than the UK's number one food reviewers and soon to be in the world? Um, but other than that, who are we? We'll be dead soon, and this place will be long, long standing, another 200 years or whatever it is. It will probably still be going when the next crusade happens, like the first. Thanks for watching, everyone. That's been Pug Shoots behind the camera. I've been Matt, the big hippo in front of it. Hope you've enjoyed this video. We certainly have. The Great American Dream Tour continues. Where will we go next? See us Big Daddy B, Pugs and Matt on a mission To find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen Different places, different flavours, try different things Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the burger?